folks. Welcome to the channel. My name is Tylan Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. And if it's your first time visiting the channel, let me say welcome. Let me also say thank you for checking out. But do me a favor. Don't subscribe to my channel yet. Get an idea who I am and what this channel is about and what my beliefs and all that stuff is before you jump on board. By doing that, it's going to help you in the long run. Trust me, it's going to help you if you're going to end up participating in the live chats all kind of stuff trust me get an idea who i am how do you do that go on my channel right you can see where to say playlist click on playlist it's going to bring up a bunch of different videos right click on everything that has nothing to do with reaction videos don't look at me reacting to videos don't look at me reacting to try not to laugh videos don't look at me reacting to try not to cringe videos look at everything else that i do and things that i talk about so you can actually know who i am and what i'm about before you jump on board and if you are of the faith then do me a favor as well you can subscribe to this channel right here Oh, God, this is crazy right here. See that the little black box right there? You see that it might be a little dot that's going to pop up right there. And that's how you get over to my other channel. It's called MRM Ministries, where I do a lot of things reacting to Christian music. And I'm doing things where we're talking about Christian related stuff, which is pretty much human related stuff. But you just get it from a perspective of a Christian, how Christians should react. You got to get a peanut butter. What's going on, folks? So this next song that I'm about to do right here is requested by Live and Another Games or Live and Another Games. And it's just said in this month. I will request simple plan. Welcome to my life. So, um, again, this is simple plans. Welcome to my life. I'm about to roll right on into it. Here you go. Checking in on traffic from Sky Hunter Five. There's trouble on the 80 energies leading into the city. Looks like traffic is backed up for miles. In this blistering heat, I wouldn't want to get stuck in that traffic. Let's get down there and take a closer look. Do you ever feel like breaking down? Do you ever feel out of place? Like somehow you just don't belong And no one understands you Do you ever want to run away? Do you lock yourself in your room? With the radio on turned up so loud That no one hears you screaming No, you don't know what it's like When nothing feels alright You don't know what it's like To be like me To be hurt, to feel like
another one of those songs that got a very uplifting, you know, positive feel to it. But then as you, uh, you know, listen to it, you see that it's like, okay, it really ain't all. I mean, it's, 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 I see, you know, it's positive, but then yet it's not because he, all the stuff that he's dealing with. Uh, before I get more into it, anybody see like the, I, I mean, I ain't trying to say they look, it reminded me of watching, uh, REM, I think it's REM. Everybody hurts. When everybody got the car and started walking, I just kind of thought back then and had a little flashback to that. But anyway, let me just say this. I don't care what none of y'all say, but this dude seemed to me like they kind of have like a, he has like that green day like type of feel to it. Like when he sings the way he says words and all that, it just seems to have like that type of feel to it. You know, I'm just saying the way he says words that I feel when I get, y'all know what I'm talking about. When I come around. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Some ones that listen to these, y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't really explain. I am explaining. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so besides that, I like how the music was sounding here too. Those jump. Y'all saw me do that in there anyway. Um, but anyway, I, he has a really, really good voice though. I'm pretty sure there's other music out there because y'all just keep doing it. Y'all going to keep doing it. Y'all ones that are coming in. Dude, if you're going to do Simple Plan, you should have did this. Listen, folks. I don't pick these songs. These songs are picked by you people, by you subscribers, patrons. I don't pick these songs. So you like when y'all say things like, dude, you should have did this one. No, I don't pick these songs. So now you can stop telling me, dude, you should have did this. one. You would say you should say something like, oh, it would be nice to hear this version of his. Because when you say I should have did it, I don't pick these songs anyway. Um, again, enjoy it. Enjoy the message in here. Um. Uh, I'm pretty sure that a lot of folks can relate to this about what's what he's talking about in here. And uh, one of the best things to do it is how he did it right here. He probably wrote it on paper and made a song out of it. So some of y'all, if you're dealing with stuff like that, write it on paper and then take it to somebody you can trust. Because, you know, a lot of times when you go and talk to people about issues that you might have, you really can't articulate and you really can't have those good thoughts of what you really want to say. Y'all know how it is. Like after you said something to somebody, then when like about five minutes later, when y'all are away from that person and you, whatever you going about your business, all of a sudden the good stuff start rolling in. It's kind of like what people say. Like if they got an argument with somebody, when the argument is over, like 20 minutes ago, I'm like, Ooh, I should have said that. I should have said this. So anyway, when those thoughts do come about how you might be feeling about a certain person, situation or event or something like that, write it down on a piece of paper so you can get reminded. I talked to a coworker of mine. I told them how, uh, in my phone, in the phone, uh, there's like voice recorder in there and I right when that thought come I'll press the thing and I'll record it in there and I'll say my thought whatever at the time because I know a lot of times you get caught up in work patience stuff like that uh, post-op and all this and then you just get kind of you forget I was going to do that so anyway um, I'm saying that because he wrote his stuff down on paper about how he felt and all that and so I think some people should do that too and like I said give it to a guidance counselor somebody you can trust and then talk about it so all right y'all let me know what y'all think of this leave it a thumbs up this is simple plan Welcome to my life. And then I say leave a thumbs up. Leave a thumbs up if you think that this should be heard by a lot of people. <laughs> and also, if you've been with me for two months or more, go ahead and click that button to subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you haven't subscribed yet, then and you're doing what I told you to do, you, you need a little bit more time to know me. Cool. That's cool, too. All right. I'm Ty Smith, modern renaissance man. I hope and pray every last one of you guys have food, shelter and clothing. And I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all through Jesus. Jesus.